What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Dungeon Knights, the Fist of Fatal and Campaign on Saturday nights. We're back with episode 34, Lessons and Consequences, which hopefully the players have learned. And by the players, I mean their characters, because the players already knew better from last week <laughs> and the week before. They just they couldn't they couldn't help themselves because their characters are just still still wee bobs in certain circumstances. But last week we had a uh, we had a series of things happen. One, we had uh, Bamir and Asteria dropping off Droop back in Fandolin and trying to catch up with Leif and Godoruk. Hopefully, also finding Ashin since Ashin kind of darted off into the night to find Leif and Godoruk. Well, well, for some reason we didn't know. Well, yes. They didn't know at the time, but they know that he darted off and, and it was most likely connected to that as it, that was when it happened. They show up to find Leif and Godoruk having basically retreated from a series of orc spellcasters and orc warriors. Only for Godoruk to go back for his hammer that he dropped and have a should have been a death experience. <laughs> I don't even think it's fair to call it near death. Call, well, probably should have been a death experience. Yeah. Somehow scraped by by the skin of his teeth and by the by the, the smarts and quick wits of the party. And Ashin uh, had to come to terms with learning a lesson of, of maybe there's times where I have to back off too. So it was very similar lessons to be learned throughout the entire party. And as Godric and Asteria and Leif and Pamir all made their way back to Fandolin by nightfall, Ashin was just kind of cresting in the distance, being able to see the city. And that's where we pick up this week. Now, before we jump right in, I'm just going to say once again, if you guys are here hanging out live with us, uh, either on YouTube or Twitch, please make sure that if you haven't already, that you follow the channel or subscribe to the channel respectively. Uh, make sure your notifications are on for both. And uh, if you would like to support the awesome stuff we do, you, you can go to patreon.com slash dungeon nights and join there. You get uh, immediate access to VODs and early access to videos. So as well as other fun stuff, go check it out. All right, let's set the mood. Yeah, there we go. Night is falling. The sun begins to fade over the horizon. Just as Bamir and Godoruk and Asteria and Leif get to town. Riding on horses. Godoruk is in real bad shape. Not make eye contact with any of the other party at the moment. <laughs> Go to can I see the bag of holding for a bit? So I'm gonna hand it to you. Mimir dismounts and says, I'll meet you guys at the inn or at the Five Finger Tavern. Okay. Like gets off the uh, the horse. Mysterio, where did you get horses? Mir's gonna walk towards uh, Daislin and Norbus, his tent thing. I will hop off and make my way into the uh, the tavern.
As you walk into the tavern, Droop is actually sitting on the edge of the bar, kind of his feet hanging off, facing the door, kind of a worried look on his face. He looks up. Goderick! You guys are okay! Wait a minute. Where's everybody else? Did you guys find their scene? Holy crap, what happened to you? You look terrible. We need to... Do we need to call somebody? Where's everybody else? They're out there. Wait, wait fi find Ashin? Yeah. Didn't he go looking for you? I don't know anymore. Um, um, okay. He's gonna make his way up to his room. Okay. You feel better. Steer you, what do you do? Takes the horse back to the stable area. And she's going to go sit in the garden. Leaf. And there's a tavern. So you walk in, probably after Goderick is probably on his way up the stairs. The troop looks down. Hey, hey, Leaf. Hey, Drew. Where'd you... Happy you're back. Thanks. It's, uh, looks up at Goderick walking away. This is an eventful day. What happened? Um, he comes over and sits at the bar. Um, so now there's the dragon. Yeah? Okay, well, a bunch of orcs that used to be friends with Godric are currently serving the dragon. Oh no, that sounds bad. Yeah. And maybe ran into some of them. It seemed to have some really powerful magics. And Godric almost died. So That's he's okay though. Looks so bad. Yeah, he got he got lots of javelins and lots of swords. Mm Hope -hmm. he's gonna be okay. Um, physically probably. I think he's uh maybe ashamed. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Leif, as you look at Droop, Droop is is physically kind of bruised and battered around his face and kind of the exposed parts of his body. Southern Goblin. And what happened to you? Oh, oh, oh me? Um, I got thrown by an invisible creature into a wall. In the and, tavern? And it hurt. No, in 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 the dragon hole. Is that the one place that um who was talking about that? Yeah. So so yeah. Um, apparently, uh, after you and Godorak left, mm -hmm. um, Amir and Asteri and I decided to go with Ashin and check out the the place with the sword. And then Ashin ran off because he, he heard that you were talking to a dragon and he disappeared. And Bamir and Asteria and I decided to go in there anyway. And we found a sword, but then something attacked us that we couldn't see. And yeah, it was bad. Okay. I guess you guys had an eventful time too. Uh, yeah, you Premier, said Ashin. Premier got beat up really bad, and Mysteria had to save me. And Ashin's gone? Yeah, no one's seen him. You didn't see him? 
Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. When Mimir gets back, we'll maybe have him send a message so that way. I really don't want Ashin trying to fight a dragon by himself. That'd be dumb. You think that's what he's doing? I wouldn't put past him. Oh, no. Well, when, when Mimir gets back, we'll, we'll have him send a message. Okay. Yo, I'll wait at the bar until Bamir gets back. Bamir, what are you doing? <coughs> Bamir is going to find Daislin and Norvis's tent. So you that walk... they can get their stuff back. Sure. So you walk down to the south end of Fandolin, where the tent city is. And... As you walk over to Daisy and Norvis's tent, you kind of look in, you see a light on inside. Oh, kind of. You knock hear on some tent flap. You hear some kind of pleasant music being played by people around the area. Oi, who's there? Bamir. Oh, Bamir, come on in. Come on in, Bamir. Norvis, oh, come you, in. You see, you kind of walk in and you see, you know, a table with some stuff on it, and uh, Daislin appears to be kind of tinkering with something on a table, and Norvis is asleep, and you see Daislin like kick the edge of Norvis's bed. <laughs> oh, what's going on? What's, what's going on? Oh, what's you? Did you just kick me? Yeah, Norvis, I kicked you. Look, Bamir's here. Oh, uh... Brought oh. out your stuff. Oh! You you brought the bag back. Yep. Awesome. Um, I put, put on the table there. Sure. Uh, just, uh... I'm, I'm sure Godorix put some stuff in there. Uh, if you guys want to go through and get your stuff out and just bring it by the tavern when you're done, that'd be great. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll sort of this tonight. And, um, yeah, what time is it? <sighs> I took a nap, but now I can't. Um, so sleepy. Huh. <sighs> Uh, yes, Bamir, we'll, we'll take that from you and then we'll bring it back after we're done. Thank you for bringing it by and uh, we hope that you get some good use out of it in the future. Well, we'll see about that. I'll see you guys later. Alright, Bamir, thanks for coming by anytime. Have a good night. Go. Leave. As you do, I'm assuming you head back to the tavern. Uh, he's going to head towards Sister Grandpa. Oh. He's going to head toward Sister Grandpa's. You make your way through town as you kind of make your way away from the tent city, kind of the sounds of merriment kind of go down. The streets are moving, street lamps are being lit as it grows, continually grows darker. You make your way across the square over to Sister Grayla's house. He's going to uh, knock on the door. You wait for a minute. You don't hear any movement. <sighs> He's he'll head back to the tavern then. As you turn around, you hear the door open. Oh, who's there? 
Oh, but oh, me. S- sister, I'm sorry. I didn't think you were home. I, I've been away. I, I just recently returned. Uh, come in. What do you need? What do you need? Uh, just a friendly ear. Always. Come inside. He'll come in and... I just put on some tea. Have a seat. Thanks. She goes and fetches some tea. Comes back. Sits down across from you. <laughs> what troubles you, Bumi? Trying. A lot of things happened the last couple days. And. I'm not sure what I should do. Well, tell me. What happened? Well. Seems like... Seems like... Leif and... Goderick went off and... tried to talk to the dragon that we'd run off from um, the ruins. And then as soon as we found out about that, Nasheen took off and haven't seen him since then. And then Almost got ourselves killed trying to investigate the dragon's grave. And almost got ourselves killed fighting some orcs that apparently have moved in to the ice dragon's territory. I'm not sure if I can say that anybody in the group would be great for the Harpers now because I don't know if I know them that well anymore. I thought I did. I mean, Leif's always been kind of naive, but not sure anymore. Don't know what to do. She kind of waits, just kind of takes all this in, sips on her tea. Mir, it sounds like you've had a lot of things happen in a short period of time. What I can tell you is most of the time when things go sideways, they typically go sideways all at once and extremely quickly. But that doesn't mean that everything is lost or bad or broken, even. It can just be a string of bad luck. To more guide me, there have been lots of streams of bad luck. I think you know your friends well enough to say that they all have the best of intentions, is that fair? I hope so. You hope so or you know so? You're right.
course I'm right. I'm guided by tomorrow. And I'm bold as hell. For me, I think you need to remember that you trust your friends. And as much as you might have times where things are hard, you need to remember that that trust that you've built over the past months and adventures doesn't seem like it's been truly betrayed in any way, especially if what it is they're doing is in the best interest for everyone. I know it sounds rather disturbing that Leaf and Goderuk went off to talk with the dragon that you previously fought before, but you are going up against a dragon that has already hurt this town and is expanding territory and has conscripted minions of sorts in, in the means of orcs. I, I, that sounds like a lot more than you've ever handled before. You might need to rely on the old adage that the enemy of your enemy is your friend, even if it's just for a period of time. That's fair. I just don't want to get us out from under one dragon right under another one. I mean, if there's something I've learned being in the harbors, there's often never a time where things are clean. We all have the best intentions. We seek to subvert the Zintarum. We seek to do good wherever we go and help those in need. Sometimes that's messy. Sometimes even ugly. People fight. People die. Even if they're bad people, they're still people. I think it's important as we claim to be the good guys that we remember that. And if we think our cause is just, it might be necessary, but that doesn't mean that it's not ugly. The important thing is the outcome, Amir. And when we look back at our deeds, if we can say, is it worth it? Did we set out to do what we wanted to do? And did the ends justify those means? You're right. I just <sighs> I think I expected more I don't know I mean I've watched you grow and I've watched your friends grow a lot over the past couple months especially in the month after rescuing Gundren I've seen a timid half-orc become the talk of the town. I've seen the reclusive elves train an entire city guard. And I've seen a somewhat naive man, a beautifully naive man, work so hard to try and fight his foes that he drove himself to exhaustion. You're all growing, the man. Growing like anything else takes time and it, it takes failure. And it sounds like you all just experience a good bit of failure. <laughs> so you can either run from it or you can learn. It sounds like this is a time where you've realized that you need to get stronger. You need to be smarter. You need to approach these things with more sensibility. You're not invincible. Well, I can say that it definitely seems like Tamora has been on our side this past couple of days. Well, I, I know. At pray least... to her daily. <laughs> I mean, go to her 
Droop and Leith and I should all be dead now. But only through luck can we make it out of the last encounters alive. Well, were you bold? There was definitely no shortage of boldness. Well, there you go. Tomorrow guides you. <laughs> I do have something in me that I wanted to let you know. Uh, in my most recent travels, uh, I I went down to Waterdeep and, and a few places I can't really talk about. I don't know where he is, Bamir, but I, for the first time, have a lead on your father. Really? Yes. I was able to learn through various agents that he was investigating happenings in other realms. That's... That's amazing. I'm I... trying to learn more information, and as I get it, I will pass it to you, but I wanted to give you some hope. I mean... It seems like you could use it. We... Th- we have... I I always hoped, but never never quite believed it could be true. I think that that makes a lot of sense with his disappearance. No, there's never been a body. There's never been responses. I think whatever he was doing within these realms, he might be stuck and not able to come back. He might still be doing whatever he was doing. I don't know. I'm going to keep trying to find more information as to what was happening. And as I do, like I said, I will give it to you straight away. Oh, sister, I I can't tell you how much that means to me. It's I I I don't know what I don't know what to say. Well, you can start off by saying thank you. And then, I mean, thank you by all means. Thank you, sister. I thank you. You're welcome. His work was very important to us. You are very important to us. And I think the work that you're doing now is going to be very important to not just the people of Fendelin, though to people of this region. I think you need to focus. I think you need to work with your friends and do what you can to prepare yourselves. Don't worry about finding recruits for the Harpers. We we will be okay. (sighs) That's not your job, that's mine. I know. We'll, we just talked about it. That's ours. I, I, I understand. I just don't want you to be overwhelmed. You need to focus. Take care of your friends. Take care of yourself. Don't be too hard. Just focus on trying to do better every day. Get stronger every day. We are all counting on all of you to do so. And we'll help you in any way possible. Even if it's talks over tea. I suppose my, uh... (laughs) I came in here with all these worries and questions, but after hearing that, the only thing I want to go do now is tell my friends the good news. Well, then you should go and I should sleep. Because tomorrow I've got to do a lot of yelling. <sighs> oh. oh. Fortune favors the bold, bold. And all that. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, sister. I. Again, I, I, I can't thank you enough. You are welcome, and good night. Good night, sister. She's gonna walk you to the door, and as you leave you're just going to hear it softly kind of click he is now going to the tavern 
All right. As you walk into the tavern, Droop is still sitting there on the counter next to Leif. Leif would be at the, uh, just like a nearby table, kind of like slumped forward. His kind of finger going like this. And you see a, like a serpent of water that is currently red, very slowly alternate every few seconds through the colors of the rainbow. Leif can do RGB. Awesome. Yep. You shape water again. Nice. Mm-hmm. He, doesn't really, he doesn't really like recognize you coming. He's just kind of like watching, kind of like make shapes through the air. Leif, good. Oh, so like large splash on the table. <laughs> I'll clean that up, and he it just swirls up into the into the mug. Look, uh, I, I got some news. Um, can 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 we get everybody into the the room? Um, thing? I think a series in the garden. Godric might be asleep. Uh, I didn't want to ask you about Ashin. If you could send a message to him, maybe. Yes. I, I should. I don't want him to go fight a dragon by himself. He he, he will die. That's definitely true. Um, uh, all right. Um, uh, Droop, uh, do you mind going to check on uh, Godorok? And I'll go look for Asteria. Go look for Asteria. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Sending it. I'll meet you in that room. Okay. Uh, You'll uh, take the the water with him and turn it to like a. Emerald green and a little swirl as he goes. Droop will go up to Godric's room and, you know, knock on the door and then uh. kind of poke his head in. Um, hey, Godric? I know you don't look like you want to talk to anybody, but Bamir says he has an update for everybody and he's trying to get us down into the room downstairs. I'll be there shortly. You go to Rook? Mm-hmm. Droop is going to literally just rush you and hug your leg. It's going to let out a really long groan because that hurt. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just, I heard what happened from Leaf. I'm really happy you're okay. I might have taken a few chaplains to that leg. I mean... Yeah, but, you know, scars are cool, right? <laughs> oh, you got that right. All right, I'll meet you downstairs. I will uh, go out into the garden. Is the stereo trancing? Nighttime? It's night, it's late. By the time that everybody's together, it's probably like nine-ish, I want to say. Okay. Hmm. Normally, she would be. But uh, she'll be just sitting in the garden. Well, he comes up in a emerald green serpent of water, just kind of like loop does loops in front of your face. Uh, Premier wanted to uh, talk to us about things. Okay. Would you like to come inside? Or are you waiting for Ashin? I suppose. I was trying to sit and watch for Ashin and hoping that he would actually come back. Uh, well, I asked Premier to send him a message, so hopefully he answers. I might need to go looking for him. Yeah. Maybe go to a trap him if, or track him if it goes that far, but he's kind of hard to find in the dark. I don't need go to track him. Okay. It's good to know. Well, let's go. And the water's just going to like inside. go like this. Inside. 
you're just gonna do a sending to Ashin. Ashin, we found everybody but you. Your friends are worried about you. Come back to the tower. Ashim, I'm time alive. You, by the time you get this, you're very close to the city. Uh, I'm just going to respond and say I'm alive. That's it. You're worse than dog me. Five damn words, and he just says two. Got 23 more words to use. <laughs> Seems like a waste. You stubborn. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to make my way into the city, and I'm going to walk past Barthens and kind of cut up the backside. Um, To where the uh, where the Five Finger Tavern is, and then I'm going to cast Pass Without Trace, and I'm going to attempt to climb the building and sneak into my own window. Okay. At this point, no one is around to see you or be looking for you. So I'm going to say you're successful in doing so. Would you like me to roll stealth to stay stealthed inside my room? If that's your goal, sure. Yep. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> Depends on what you're trying to do. That's a 27. Yeah. He rolled a five. It's a 27. I, I cast I pass about Trace prior. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I'm going to open my door and listen first to see if I can hear anybody talking downstairs. There's people in the tavern, so you certainly hear chatter coming from the tavern. Okay. And then I'm going to walk out of my room, shut the door, and I'm going to go down to Leif's room, and I'm going to test his door to see if it's locked. Leif keeps his doors locked. So the door is locked. I'm going to pick that lock. Oh, boy. <laughs> Give me a roll, good sir. That'll do it. Oh, it's a 22. I'll do it. <laughs> it was a DC of 12. You, you did it. You're good. An indoor <laughs> lock. It's not like... <laughs> You, mean, you said it's like your bathroom lock where you get like a little thing you just like poke in the hole and it unlocks it yeah it's like, it's like paper clip like oh, we're done and we're good and we're good i'm gonna sh walk into his room okay. take out a piece of paper i'm gonna write a little note yeah okay. this is a, a very cleanly organized room there's a desk with uh some research notes on white dragons and it looks like my herbalism kit for tea is in there mm. I'm going to write the note in Draconic. Okay. And I'm writing, what were you thinking? And I'm going to leave it on his pillow. And then I'll walk out of his room and make my way downstairs and into the back room. Side room, but sure. The doors are currently shut because everybody's in there. 
but they were probably in there for maybe a couple minutes before you showed up. Okay. The door opens up, and there's Ashin. And Ashin's alive. I, I did say that I was alive. You ass. You have 25 words. Why did you only use two? What else did you need from me? I said that your friends were worried about you. You can't say more than I'm alive. I gave you all the information you needed to know that I was okay. All right. Anyway, I was just telling them. I found out that my dad's alive. That is some fantastic news. What are we going to do about it? Well, I don't know if there's anything we can do now. Um, I have some news, too. If everybody would like to know what happened to me before I get my face ripped off. Terry is just gonna give you the most fucking resting bitch face stare. <laughs> the, the the water slowly freezes into an ice ring and life catches it. <laughs> life, you can't um, detect people's thoughts, can you? I don't know any that can't. Just Our would Mike, Belfort. Mike, maybe make this easier. Um, so, okay, a lot happened. Um, I left because I was mad and I was coming after you two. And he points at Leif and Goderick. Uh, I got sidetracked. Um, I spent a, couple, a good couple of days in pretty constant communion with Shevaresh. And you know how wherever we've gone there's always been like wolves in the distance? Anybody else noticed? There's wolves in the woods. Nothing new. Um, you might be surprised to learn that they are not what you might think they are. I trailed a group of them uh, far north. Um, to discover that they were, in fact, shapeshifters very likely of the werewolf variety. That's not all. They're drow. I, 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 this is important. I know you've told me about certain things, but is it is they the same ones? knowing what I know and what I've experienced in my life um, yes uh, very likely maybe the same group that destroyed my village as a child um, I was set upon by an army of goblins by them and had to retreat so here I am letting you know that the dragon is not the only threat in the immediate area. So we have a lot of things now. The mirror's dad, uh, werewolves and goblins, and cryovane. And I apologize that if you tried to 
communicate with me while I was gone. I could not respond. I was a little busy. Who are you? In other news, Shevarash is not an asshole. Well, he gave me some very good advice. I'm just glad that uh, you made it back after all that I'm I have to say I would have been I would have been worried that uh I was, I actually was worried that you um, almost lost yourself to revenge. Mm. Vengeance is a, vengeance is a choice. I'm glad to see that I was wrong. I chose to live. I, um, also have some interesting news uh, from Lady Venom Thing, and also we did meet those orcs. Um, Godric, would you want to start with the orcs, or? Oh no, I want to hear about Venom Thing. Okay. Um, well, when I went to talk to her, because apparently she wanted to meet with me, could have been a trap. Seemed kind of elaborate for a trap. It wasn't. Um, seems to have gotten larger now, so there's that. Um, she was just talking about Cryovane had um, been encroaching our territory and uh, doesn't really like him at all. Thinks he's just kind of a brute, to be honest. Um, and wants him gone. Very much wants him gone. And um, I guess he's been recruiting in. Uh, brainwashing uh, Brugor's orcs, among some others, and um, been using their druids and sorcerers to make uh, him more powerful, along with, you know, bring him food and prizes, and uh, she kind of mentioned that he would end up taking over the entire region if he wasn't stopped. And um, she did say that if we help get rid of Cryovane, that she would honor our original agreement that we talked about before we well, you guys talked about killing her and she attacked us um, that she will stay in Coneyberry and um, leave Fandolin alone I'm going to look at, at Asteria after you say that uh, we should Probably tell right off. Right out still out of his mind. Hmm. Yep. What happened with those orcs? Before you answer that, I just want to kind of reiterate to you. As you all are looking at each other around the room, Bamir, you still have noticeable bruising from your encounter. Godoruk, you look like hell. Like your your eye, at least one of your eyes is black. You've got a cut on your head. You've got various cuts and wounds on your arms and on your chest and on your legs. I look pristine. 
Asteria and Leif <laughs> both look pristine, but I just want to make sure that, that, that we don't miss the yep. fact that that there are people here that look noticeably weathered as you're having these conversations. And Droop is also sitting silently in the room with you, looking like he got the crap kicked out of him. When I finally noticed Droop, uh, what happened to you, little man? I got beat up by the invisible thing. That happened after you left, Hashim. Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. I would like to hear what happened with the orcs, please. Droop to kind of looks up like he's going to say something, and then he sees Bamir ask the question and just kind of slumps down. And it gives you a sad look, Oshin. Roderick, do you, do you want to say it or I can? He kicked my ass twice. There's not much more to say. There, there were there were some orcs cutting down the um, woods to make it. Did, was I close enough to hear, or was it only him? It was only him. Yeah, it was close enough to hear. Okay, so I don't I don't know the stuff that he knows. Um, they were cutting down trees for some reason, and. Um, they had some powerful spellcasters. And uh, Godric gave me a, a signal, turned him into an ape. Um, I incinerated about half the orcs. And then Godric almost died. And you guys came and saved him. Twice. Twice. Yeah. It looked like they were setting up some kind of barricade or something. Godric, when you talk to him, did they say anything? It also looked like they were All trying to four. take his body before we stopped him. They were trying to take your body. They wanted me to join them. Body? Like, you got knocked out? He almost died. Yeah. Twice. Um, yikes. They said so, they would make me join them. I wasn't going down without a fight. That's fair. How many of them were there? How many? Oh, there was with a lot. around 30-ish orcs and about three spellcasters. Uh, spellcasters prevented some of my magic from working entirely. Where? This was in between uh, here to Coneyberry, about a day's journey. I wonder if those are the other tracks I saw. Like, a lot of you, them. They countered it or dispelled it or... Um, well, I countered one of their spells. Um, the other two, it didn't have any effect on. Um, I tried to summon my shadow hound and it didn't even appear. I cast fireball and it seemed that the fire went around them. Ex the regular orcs, fine. One of them, the one that I countered, took the fire. The other two didn't do anything at all. Do you know anything about that, Bamir? That's weird. I've never... I'd have to look into... look into it. I don't... It's... I haven't heard anything like that before. Life is gonna... Um, glance over at a uh, uh, droop. Does he look pretty sad still? Yeah. He's kind oh. of 
looking at his feet. So, Mysteria and I and Ashin, after you all left, decided to go and investigate the the dragon grave uh, that we Yeah, do we need out. to go? Or did you guys actually do that after I left? Uh, he'll draw the sword. Me. Put it on the table. Huh? You're what alive. do you need? I'm kind of in the middle of something. Not muted. Okay. Not muted. <laughs> Not muted. I was yeah. muted. I unmuted myself. Good job. Um, we'll edit it in post. Yeah. No, we won't. We'll be right back. Um, I guess while he's doing that real quick, um, Leif is going to take shape water and get out like a little a little stick he has in his inventory. He's going to form it into like a just like a like a like what looks like almost like a doorway and like an oval doorway and freeze it on the stick then use precipitation to make it taste um, orange flavored and give it to Droop Droop takes the popsicle popsicle <laughs> mm. um, this is pretty good thanks Leaf mm-hmm. oh, Shane we really needed you I'm happy you're back and I'm happy you're safe but I got really hurt. Amir got really hurt. We had to run and hide from something we couldn't see. We could have really used you. He's gonna looks down again. I know. You can't do that anymore. I wish I could explain to you. You already everything did. That, I understand. Everything that's... You get mad. I get mad too. Angry eyes, remember? It's it's more than that. It's more than just some anger. Yeah, but we're your friends. You don't leave us hanging. I know. You don't know, Ashin. Something invisible hit me over the head. Pick me up and threw me across a room into a wall. If Styria and Bermir were there, I could have died. Almost did die. So we got out of there in time. I'm gonna, like, crouch down in front of Droop. Put one hand on each of his shoulders. And I'll cast Cure Wounds. It feels better, but it doesn't fix the hurt inside us. Only time will heal that. Hope so. Um, just a quick question. What was... You said there was an invisible thing. Do you know what it was? We never saw it. Well, I, I, I got it. It was invisible. I just wasn't sure if you any of you knew. <laughs> Nope, because okay. we could see it. That's fair. Okay. I Did it, is s- this is this something that we should go deal with? I mean, you have the sword from there, so I guess we're good. Okay. I mean, it probably isn't a good thing to have around. I'd hate for somebody to go in there accidentally and get hurt the way we were but I think what I've learned I don't know what I hope we've all learned from this is that we're strongest when we're together this time, this last week, we've we all went our own separate ways, and and half of us almost died. I 
but in the end, I think if we face these problems together as one, then at least if we At least we'd have been together. I'm sure you know, Kodrick and I were going to go with you guys to Dragon Pro when we got back. I didn't really bother telling any of you because, I mean, it was I didn't think it was going to be a problem. Um, I mean, that's why I got pissed off in the first place. How would you not think it's a problem? Well, last time I tried to talk to her, it went well. Then I didn't. So I was going to go talk to her again. And I felt like if I brought you guys along, one, we either wouldn't be able to go. Even if you didn't want us all to go with you, just letting us know that that was your intent. I mean, would you guys have let me go? No, I'd have went with you. But you have tried to kill her? I could have behaved for the sake of conversation and making sure that nothing happened. That's I, that was my point. Like I against my personal reservations like about killing an evil dragon because that's you know I would want to kill the evil dragon. Um, I probably would be willing to hear her out. I think most of the problems that we've run into have stemmed from not telling each other what we were going to do before we did it. And I think the same can be said for everything that just happened in the last few days. So I think, uh, I think if we learn from this that we should trust each other and not make assumptions that we don't know what we're doing or that it'll be better off if the rest don't know or we can do this on our own it's not important that the rest of us aren't here um Stereo I've been through a lot quiet. thinking about her fairy friend it doesn't say anything about that conversation <laughs> Um, I told you, tell him it was Bartholomew. He's a <laughs> dick. I know that this mark on my arm has kind of made you all a little uneasy. Um, Shivarash pointed out something to me that I think is worth noting. And it's about me. Is that in order for me to be the best me, I needed to heal first. Not physically, but emotionally, mentally. Um, and I believe that he has set me on that path to overcome my own grief so he doesn't want to murder all the drow oh no he still wants to murder all the drow that's not the point I mean okay okay 
it's more that in order for me to be better at what I do, I have to get past what has happened to me. Could you also want me to be... get past the drow? Just a little bit. I mean, that's it's not all bad. Every single drow that I've ever run into has been terrible. Well, not every drow I've run into has been terrible. The only one that I've been with you that we ran into together was terrible. That wasn't great. However, not every drow I've met has been bad. You're lucky. I have not been so lucky. Well, maybe we'll introduce you to some nice drow sometime. Maybe I won't shoot them in the face. That'd be an improvement. No promises. Okay. <sighs> I'm hungry. Anyway. Yeah, I think we should get some food and rest. Pretty sure it's been a rough couple of days for everybody. I ate old rations for two days. I don't want to talk about it. It's gross. There's some food in the kitchen. I'll go get okay. it. Okay. Um, no, you sit there. Let me go get it. No. I'm, I'm going to go get it, and then I'm going to go to my room. I just... Okay. I'm glad we all made it back safely. Mostly. But... I don't know, guys. I'm just... I was really sad by everything that happened. When I look around at everybody right now, it just doesn't feel like the family we had. I just want you to know that, that you're all the closest thing to family that I've ever had. And you're the best people I know. Drew, so. every family in the world has its problems. We will get through this. You just got to have some faith. I don't know what that's, that's like. I just get scared sometimes thinking about you guys leaving, not knowing where Leif and Kodorok were, not knowing where you were, Alshin. When Asteria got me out and Bamir was still in the hole with that thing. It's been a lot. You guys can't go running off anymore. And he kind of like looks up, kind of cocks a half smile. Well, next time you get the stick. Got it. Yes, sir. Okay. Thanks for making sure we've got a place to come back to. Always. We're the fist. With a stick. He kind of holds up a stick. <laughs> I'm the stick. All right. Enough of this being sad junk. I need a drink. <sighs> I got some good stuff on me. You want some of that? Ashin, I run the tavern. I have all the good stuff that I could ever want. Okay. It's a little right. bar. Go get a table. I'll bring out the food. You know, Bamir, 
<laughs> I mean, he doesn't even like cinnamon. Cinnamon is mildly tolerable. <laughs> you hear Droop call back as he's walking away. I'll have Tarblin bring us rolls for breakfast. Looks like I'm eating carrots. A couple minutes later, you see Droop walk out with a couple trays of food. The drinks. Oh, yeah. Get some drinks. As you guys populate this table, you see people around you in the tavern, and they kind of look over at you. Every time you make eye contact, they just kind of give you a little nod or a little raise in the mug. eat you drink it's time to rest and as you all go back to your respective places is there anything anyone else wants to do or say before you take a long rest yes okay Ashin goes and takes a bath thank god uh Ashin is you this is actually a good a good point for this. So Ashin, you you head out back where they have kind of a well no, excuse me, there's a, a bath area for you kind of designated upstairs in the tavern. As you go in there, draw yourself some water and you remove your armor and your clothes. You kind of look down. And you see that the mark of Shevrash, which had kind of previously gone up your forearm, is now a complete sleeve of your entire right arm and is now creeped over your entire right half of your kind of upper peck. And once again, it is beautifully ornate. can't say that I'm completely surprised that that happened. Hmm. As you're looking, you can kind of feel the presence of Shevarash kind of move up and down your arm as kind of a confirmation of your more or less pact that you made out in the wilderness. I'm just, after uh, I'm in the tub, I'm just going to sit and like kind of really take note of the actual design of the markings. And then I'm going to like reach out of the tub into um, like one of the folds of my armor and pull out a piece of paper and a pencil out of my pocket. And on the floor, wet hand and all, I'm just going to start writing something down making a note of something. Okay. A reminder. Okay. And then I will clean myself up, wash my hair. Um, I will put on my traveler clothes that are in my bag that I hardly ever wear because I'm always in armor. And I will walk out of the bathroom when I'm done. Um, set my pack down in my room, shut the door, lock it. And then I'm going to walk out the back door out into the garden. A 
Mysterio, are you there or are you someplace else? Mm, Mysterio's there. Okay. Probably already meditating. I will sit down next to her. And I will say, I fucked up. And then I will go into my trance as well. Okay. As you all take your long rest. I had one thing. Leif has a thing. After we're all done eating, um, Leif is going to catch the mirror before he goes to bed. Uh, mirror, I had a question for you. You are muted. I think there's a silence spell on you. Sure. <laughs> um, think about what you said. I have a question. Can I have one of your eyelashes? It's for a spell. First spell. Which spell? Invisibility. Oh. Um, I guess so. I figured it was just more meaningful if it's, you know, someone from our party. And out of everyone, you probably have the nicest eyelashes out of everyone else in the party, so. Thanks. It'll grow back. No, oh, it's just amazing how much that hurts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of why I didn't want to do it, but thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will go ahead and uh, get that taken care of. Um, did, uh, <laughs> did things go well at Venom Fang or... Oh yeah, she's always been very polite. She want to help us? Um kind of in a way. She's providing assistance in other means. She's probably not gonna be like trying to take on Cryobane by herself. She's she's a green dragon. They they tend not to be the the really fighting type, the more manipulative hmm. and persuasive. But I can let you know, she was being mostly truthful about everything she told me. The manipulative green dragon. Right. Yeah, she was being honest probably 95% of the stuff she said to me was true. Or at least it was veiled in half-truth. Right. Yeah. She said that she'll stay in Coneyberry. I believe that. For sure. an indeterminate amount of time, which, but it would be long enough, she said. Which, long enough for a dragon? It's fairly long. So... Yeah. You know, maybe she'll... You know, dragons, they have hordes and stuff. Maybe they'll want to do, you know, trade and maybe deal with any threats or help with any threats that may be around the area in the future. Yeah. She has a lot of cultists, by the way. Like hundreds of cultists over there. Oh, that couldn't be a problem. Could be. Might <sighs> never be. Well, if Cryovane has allies like those orcs, then we could probably use all the help we can get as much as I hate to admit it. That's kind of, you know, how I viewed it. 
And like I said, she could have just killed me. That could be very hard. Also, she could just fly by Fandlin and just breathe poison on it. I mean, just like Kravain did. I mean, it, it's, it's not like she can't just do these things. So I feel like she's more for the uh, long game, as I think people put it. Yeah. And fortunately, probably can't turn her into a bunny. About that. Yeah? And I don't I don't mind practical jokes but I don't I don't um I feel very strongly about magic that influences people's minds. And I know that when you charmed me, that it was in the spirit of a joke. But that kind of thing is never a joke to me. So I just wanted to let you know that I understand, but please don't do that again to me or anybody else. Would you? I'm sorry. It's, it's, I didn't. I mean, I know. I not thinking back on it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. You know, turn you into a bunny. Probably should have asked first. Charming you. Also, yeah, that's a little invasive. I didn't really think about it since. It's not like I would have you know, done anything to harm you. I I know. And I can I just I can learn a different spell. I could I don't need to no, do mean, charms anymore. It's 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 fine like I mean it's good for things that you know are trying to kill us or you know <laughs> that don't really have a choice anyway, but Do you think there'd be something better I could learn than a charm spell? I, I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, sorcerers generally come by their magic as they. Uh, it's, I don't know with, if. With experience, we tend to get more magics. But, um,. It's always possible to alter your repertoire of spells. Well, I mean, I trust your judgment on the matter. I just wanted to let you know how I felt. Well, thank you for telling me. I'm, once again, sorry. I'll, in the future, no more Bonnie Bear, and I won't charm you. Or anyone else in our party. Probably, and, and actually, after you bring it up, probably no one else, unless I have to. Might just think of a different spell. I am, uh, though, working on a spell that you might be able to help me with. Um, besides invisibility? You already helped me with that, thank you. Um, this is actually for a different, it's, um, it's like an arcane hand, a really big arcane hand. Okay. Yes. I think soon, very soon, I'll be able to cast it. Oh, well. Yeah. That sounds useful. 
just need to figure out where I can get a snake. And... Oh, I'm sure that uh, Ashin or Godorak would be very interested in helping you find something in the wild. But I will ask Godorak. He probably he had so many things in his bag. Oh, that's it. Uh, I gave the bag to Dates of the Norbush. They're going to bring it back when they get their stuff out. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for listening to me about the whole charm thing. It's just... That's the only... Sometimes the only thing that we have in life that we can control is our own choices. Free will is the only thing that we have that nobody can nobody should take from us. Yeah. Makes crowd being kind of more of a jerk now. Oh. Said, if you ever have problems, just come talk to me. Um, and uh, the things I told you while you were charmed, um, I haven't told the rest of the party yet. So, also, you don't have to help finance that if I leave. It's more of a joke. Oh. I mean, hopefully you won't. Um, leave? leave? Uh, I mean... It's pretty clear that uh, if anything's been made clear, it's that like I said before, we're stronger together. Sure. I mean, I care about all you guys, but I mean, I'm, I'm pretty used to just going from place to place and I feel like it's, it's ready. It's kind of how I've always been. And I mean, I don't really think that Godric wants to make tea for a living. Oh. Or, I don't know. I think it'd be, it just seems like, you know, whatever I feel like I'm done here, just next part on wherever life brings me. It's just kind of fun sometimes doing new things. Yeah. Uh, I think if there ever is a time that we decide to go our separate ways, then. Well, you'll have my support. And you will also be getting a decent amount of my gold. So I probably won't need as much. I know you like money. And, um... There's hey. a lot of things way more important than money. Though yeah. it is nice. Yeah. I mean, just sometimes you don't plan for things. I didn't plan to look kind of touches your, uh, your hand. My hand's ice cold. Didn't plan for that to happen. Um... Didn't plan on uh, moving to Mirabar, and didn't plan on, you know, joining the Zen helping Gundren, and um, yeah. Just a plan for everything, so. Where? Yeah, we, uh, a lot of things have, I can't say that I've planned on anything that's happened to us since we joined up together. Awesome. But I don't regret it. Neither do I. And, you know, that's kind of short. Unless you're a dragon. That's a little bit longer. However, no. Yeah. Or an elf. Oh, that's right. You're a half elf. Do you live longer as a half elf? Um. I think Ashin said he's like two, three hundred or something, isn't he? Isn't he really old? 
Yeah, he's pretty old. Is that young for an elf? Uh, yeah, he's pretty young. <laughs> Which one? Uh, I guess it depends on your point of view. Do you have elves that long? Not that long. Well. But... I don't know if I can count on that much if we keep doing our current line of work. Hopefully after Cryovane's done, which hopefully we don't deal with anytime super soon. Soon enough that, you know, that's not a problem, but not soon enough that we're not ready. It's a weird balance. Anyway. I think we'll be okay. We've always been okay in the past. Close calls sometimes. A few times. But, uh, I mean, hey, uh, changes really don't live much longer than humans, so whenever I get to that point, at least I'll know that I'll probably be happy doing whatever I'm doing. Oh, Anything else on your mind? That's true. Uh, no. Do you need a hug? Yeah, let's bring it in. Leif gives you... Uh, he's cold, as always, but he gives you a hug. Uh, uh, let's you go after a few seconds. Hope you have a good night, Bidmir, and thanks for being able to talk to me. You too. Yep. You'll be the first person to get a crate of free tea. And he goes and leaves to his room. Mir will go back to his room too. When uh, Leif gets there, he sees the little note in Draconic. Reads it. Kind of says to himself in Draconic, I think we've covered it. And he takes in his palm and just turns to ash with concentrating a firebolt and he puts it in the bin. for us to take a long rest. The party has learned many valuable lessons. Had many good experiences. And as you sleep reflecting on everything that has come before the past week and longer, that experience manifests itself in a level up. <laughs> whoop whoop! Yay. Everyone is level nine. As you awake, I'm going to ask you about your levels and all the good things, but I'm going to start with Asteria. So Asteria, as you wake from your meditation, it's still very early in the morning and the moonlight is shining on you. And as you kind of look up to see the moon and the stars, the light is going to cast on your face. And even though you don't know it, there's going to be a small crown of stars that appears on your skin right on your forehead. Very slight. As the moonlight hits it, it kind of glimmers and shines like stars. Tell me about your level nine. My level nine... Asteria learned a new spell. 
she learned tree stride. Mm. Yes. So she is starting to learn how to teleport through trees. That sounds awesome. Super cool. Mm -hmm. That's a bit it for her level up this level, I believe. <laughs> okay. Ashin, since you're right next to her, you wake up from your meditation. Do I notice the it's still steely bit on her head? Morning. If you, if Asteria is still there and she hasn't left the garden pissed at you. <laughs> Asteria, are you still there? Sure, I'm still there. Uh, I will, I will look over at her and I will see the glowing crown on her forehead and I'm just going to go <gasps> it's very small it's like it's like as the light hits it it's almost like the glimmer of a diamond like you wouldn't notice it except for when the light hits it it's not I'm very like, like pronounced it's not like I'm going to squint a little Rudolph bit dots right it's very like, small move move a little closer to her and like squint you know you got a you got a little something You really do that? Yep. She's gonna punch you in your chest, even though it does nothing. <laughs> it's right through. <laughs> Ow! I don't have my armor on. She has nine strength. Please, eight strength. Even worse. No, you probably didn't even hit me then. Um. So about my level. Uh, so you're not going to ask why you did that? <laughs> nope, not going to ask why she punched me. Because well, I, know I, I know I deserve it. <laughs> okay. He is learning. Mysteria, I fucked up. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is almost too real. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sleeping on the green tonight. He's a married man. That's very accurate. <laughs> um. So I, I picked up an expertise. Okay. And a proficiency I didn't have before. Ooh. Mm. And I picked up a language. That's very interesting. Mm hmm And I, I learned how to deal a little bit of extra damage if I'm very careful about how I place myself and I'm very stealthy during combat. Mm. Interesting. Nice. All right. Are you a bit more cunning? Maybe slightly. <laughs> All right. Maybe slightly. Go to Rick. You wake up in your room. Feeling a little better. Physically. Um, he's going to spend his time in there. Uh, his level, however, uh, he's learned to put a little bit more weight behind some swings. And uh, so anytime he crits, he does even more damage. It's a funny thing top about of the... muscles. When you break them <laughs> down, they typically build back a little stronger. <laughs> so he's going to be swinging broken. for the fits at some more. <laughs> broken pretty badly. Uh, yeah, he's still a little sore. Uh, probably still bruised, but, you know, he's there. He's alive. Still mad, but alive. And that's it. No, <laughs> go back and we'll go next door to Bamir. Bamir's laying in bed, thinking very hard about all the things 
that he heard and said and also think about the new spell that he learned for Ooh. level nine Ooh. oh the charm spell <laughs> sorry <laughs> Yeah, it's modified memory. No, um, <laughs> he went. He went. Uh, it's, he went to the extreme. It's, it's dominate person. I mean, no. Um, uh, no, he's uh, he has learned a spell that will help people unlock the talents that they already have. Ooh, it's a good choice. decided to do what he can to empower his friends then over to Leif or is, is there more uh not really no. <laughs> all right over to Leif I mean I think our proficiency bonus went up too right? it did mm-hmm. we're all we all got proficiency we're all bonus upgrade. Yeah, he's just that much better at everything. Better at everything. Looking you, to the, the value of experience. That's what it is. He's always good at everything. Now he's mm. even better. Yep. <laughs> even better. Except for athletics. He's still bad at that. And taking a hit. Yeah. Um, well, we've got one more sorcery point to make people's lives miserable. Um, he replaced... By, by people's, that's mine. That's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he replaced Shadow Blade, feeling like it's no longer really something that fits him anymore, with invisibility to assist uh, our party being a little bit sneakier. And um, thanks to Bamir's eyelash. And then, lastly, uh, everyone I think in here knows who I took. Ashin, I know you like to say it. Would you like to join me in the naming of the spell? No? All right. Well, we took Bigby's hand. So that is now going to be the fun spell. Bigby's hand! Thank you. There it is. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah. Leif, as you wake up and you're kind of, you know, getting more acclimated with these spells... You're going to feel a tug at your mind. Okay. Hey there, Leif. It's been a minute. How you doing, buddy? I forgot. Can I reply in my head or do I have to say out loud? It doesn't matter. I can hear you either way. Okay. That's that's good to know. He's just going to talk out loud. So, what you want... Well, I just wanted to know, or I wanted you to know, Mm -hmm. that you're doing a great job. What you want? Why so fishy? Always thinking I have ulterior motives. Have I ever done anything but help you? No, but but you still have ulterior motives. You don't understand my motives, Leif. And and that's something I'm going to try to help you with here. So give me a minute. And as he says that, Leif, you're going to feel your body almost kind of like the cold starts to pour forth from you. And as it does, it materializes into a mist. And then that mist takes a form and you see the form of a shadow man in front of you. Okay. This man appears to be wearing a kind of full length coat. Looks very much like just normal kind of clothes that you kind of see fade and in and out of existence 
just a kind of a nice traveling shirt and trousers, some boots, and then kind of an odd hat, something that is not what you would normally see in your time. But for sake of description, it's very much like a fedora. I thought it was time. I thought it was time, life, that we met face to face. I think you're going to need some help, and I think that I'll be able to give it to you. But I need you to trust me, and I know up until now it's been a little, I mean, we'll call it hazy. But it's, but I want you to know, Leif, that you can't trust me. I have your best interests at heart, always. Your safety and success are paramount to me. Okay. And I want you to know who I am. I am the Traveler. And we're going to stop there for the week. Aha! Wow, we finally tied in Leif's faith to the story. It's so good! Dude, what, what, when you said fedora, I had a feeling. Oh, Not yeah. gonna lie, the dude is super quirky. <laughs> He's very quirky. He's a traveler. And we will get to talk to the traveler more next time. Again, thank you guys for being here so much for us on stream. We're going to go ahead and wrap the video for all of you guys that are watching on YouTube. If you have not already liked and subscribed and hit the notification icon, please make sure you do so. If you guys are wanting to check this out very soon, if you were unable to capture this live, please make sure that you realize you can go to patreon.com slash dungeonites and for five buckaroos you can get instant access to all the vods as soon as they are done being run if you're on the twitch side i love you guys so much please make sure that you are following the channel and hitting that notification icon for whenever we are live which is on saturdays and mondays and of course your support is always loved and appreciated as well but that is going to do it for us for this week we will catch you guys next time